The Dallas Cowboys, of course, do not miss a trick as we walk into the Oxnard facility. Come on in. And let's start with buying stuff. Naked body parts. Fantastic merchandise. Congenial hostess. No action today, right? Tomorrow? But you're getting geared up? There you go. Go get them. How we doing? Pretty good, sir. Yourself? Fantastic. Get these people dressed. More goodies. More goodies. More goodies. Today, of course, Cowboys reporting day for the players. Uh, by the way, I'm Mike Fisher of CowboysSI.com and the Fish Report. Uh, this is... This must be my 40th NFL training camp. Does that sound right? My 33rd or 34th Cowboy training camp. And uh, always a delight and always a privilege. It's about 68 degrees here this morning. Uh, the uh, kind of that cloud cover and that foggy mist will burn off the ocean here uh, completely shortly. And <clears throat> it'll get a little warm. Not Texas. Um, here's your toilets, by the way. That's where they should have taken those naked bodies and put them in those, <laughs> put them in those porta potties. All right, now uh, here's equipment getting ready to roll as we get ready to go pick up our credential for Dallas Cowboys training camp. This looks like it's NFL Films crew. Say hi to them. NFL Films crew, good morning. All right, and here is the treasured turf of the Oxnard practice fields. Got some people already want to, okay, now here, oh, by the way, oh, I guess we better go over there. Okay, this is going to be your first look at something very new. This is new, this uh, kind of ramp gate setup. Okay, now some of these residents who are upset because all this stuff has come so close, this guy's not upset. He's fine. He's going to live with it. So we've got this this uh, watching ramp, which is new. Guys, how we doing? Okay, and I don't know how much media related this is. We'll find out, but it's... it's uh, it's smart, padded, so when C.D. Lamb catches a touchdown pass in the back of this end zone, he doesn't crack his skull. Uh, this says authorized personnel only. We'll find out whether or not that means me. And then here's the controversy. Okay. This isn't about... Wait till you see this. This isn't about owning a home adjacent to the field and not being able to and, and having cowboy fans or cowboy personnel or whatever be able to look into your backyard now there's the big brick wall that's that's been here for quite a while okay here's the new part oh boy okay okay now i kind of get it <laughs> all right for now i'm kind of on the side of the uh of the homeowners, by the way, it, and, and I've said it's about 10 homes and I think that's about right. But look what we've done here. Not that when you bought this home X number of years ago, you did it with uh, the intention of being able to watch the Cowboy practice necessarily, but, oh, okay. These aren't, these aren't, uh, this isn't a bleacher, nor is this a grandstand. This is an enclosed, protected, sponsored by Yamava Resort and Casino at Sam Manuel, whatever that is. And yeah, that looks like it's uh, celebrity-based, um, VIP-based. And again, I don't know that that includes schmoes like me. And it is gigantic. 
Uh, now the padded, again, got the padded. That's good for the players. Here's your platform stage. This is quite a, I, th this is quite a uh, setup here. There's the yellow, yellow sign saying, get your ass out of here, Fisher. Authorized personnel only. We'll soon discover just how authorized we are. And so there's that. Now, come over here, one more. And again, sponsorships make the thing go around. But in addition to the fence being a certain height, that brick fence, now they've added a couple feet of height with some sponsorships. Okay. Players, uh, here's a locker room area, dressing room area in there. I'll try to give you a decent look. Uh, the players, of course, um, many of them reported yesterday or before. Today is the deadline day to report. And uh, we will keep you posted on uh, who's who and what's what, including, of course, Zach Martin, who's a big name in the news now, as he has threatened to hold out. And it is indeed. When you're under contract, that's what it is. It's a holdout. Unlike, say, Josh Jacobs with the Raiders or Saquon Barkley up until this morning, they didn't have a signed contract, so not a holdout. Now, here's familiar territory. with the blocking sleds and the VIP tent, which I am allowed to sneak into, and uh, this fancy uh, motorboat looking film thing, and more, oh boy. Okay, it's, it, this, this is impressive. Of course, this one doesn't block anybody's view, but that's pretty, that really is pretty cool. Now this one, I don't know how they're gonna keep me out of it. Here's where uh, Gene Jones and company used to sit. There's the bleacher area where you get to sit if you show up. There's Jerry's Tower of Power. But yes, now we've got another new enclosed, shaded VIP grandstand. And especially since this one doesn't block anybody's view, it really is quite uh, magnifico, I must say. Let's see if we can sneak in there now. This will be your first, first look. Let's see what's in here. Thank you, Yamava Resort and Casino. Uh, potential proud sponsor. There's Todd Archer saying hi. There's Tim Collins. And, uh... Hey, hey good morning. There's our friends at 105.3 The Fan. And there, up we go. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, gotta get your, gotta get your, uh, flora arranged here. And I think you're gonna see part of the setup here involves uh, TV and whatnot. But yeah, this is, this is uh, high flute and dignitaries and stuff. Brand new tables, brand new sponsors, brand new everything. Heck, let's go up there. Look, there's your fancy sofa bottle service, anyone? And then let's go up here until somebody yells at us and tells us we're not authorized. Here's Cowboy PR staff rolling out, getting ready to go. I got a job to do and they're gonna do it, baby. Let's set up here. Always nice to have the PR staff say hello. Hello, fish. Makes me know I'm still welcome around here. And this is probably the most spectacular view you're gonna get from Cowboy Training Camp ever. So enjoy it. There's the golf course. Uh, th there's the mountains. There's the golf course. There's the PR sheds. Uh, these are some of the Cowboys rooms. There's an upstairs and a downstairs. Um, if you're an important Cowboy personnel person, you might be right there. So you can get to the training area and stuff in 12 seconds. All right, now let's walk you back here. Again, back to some more cowboy rooms. This is a hell of a setup. Once again, here back here, here's a Gene Jones bottle service area. Now we overlook the uh, cowboy press conference area where we're gonna see, of course, uh, in a little bit, the Jerry Jones glory hole press conference. And you can see media moving and shaking. 
and then we'll swing around. We'll give you one more look at the at the VIP area that blocks the residents' homes, unfortunately for them. But fortunately, if you're a VIP. And then finally, let's take one more look at the field. And there you go. That is your very first look at the very first day as Cowboy players report to training camp here in Oxnard. Press conference, by the way, scheduled for noon central time. So 10 a.m. our time here, if I'm not getting it screwed up, uh, out on the West Coast. Uh, really an impressive setup and uh, really cool that you guys are hanging around with us. Hit that like button, by the way, and tell Cowboys Nation and Fishheads what's going on here. Uh, we, we are offered unique opportunity, uh, thanks to the Cowboys and, of course, thanks to Sports Illustrated. Unique opportunity to be able to do this kind of thing. So I'll, I'll do this all day long and all uh, month long until somebody tackles me and tells me, Jerry says, Fish, will you please get off my perch? Fish out.